the RB25S and RB35S stabilization systems require the temporary Lua script to be installed to the radio system. First, from the web browser, go to the FreeSky website at www.frsky-rc.com. And from the main page, go to Products, Flight Safe System, and choose the model of the RB system that you have. In this case, I'll choose RB25S, and then I'll go to the Downloads page. From the Downloads page, you'll find the Lua script for Ethos, and then you can download it. You'll see the icon show up here, and you can click Open File here, but if this doesn't show up, you can find it by going to your File Explorer and going to your Downloads folder, and you should see the RB25 zip in the folder. You can double click it, and then inside of that, you'll also see another folder called RB25, RB25S, and inside of there are the Lua scripts which need to be copied to the radio. So next, I'll power up the radio system into bootloader mode by holding down the Enter button while I power it on. It'll say bootloader on the screen, and then I can plug in the USB cable. On the computer, there will be two windows that open. One of them will say bitmaps and fonts folder. You can just ignore this drive because you don't need to ever copy anything here. This one is mostly for the internal radio stuff. On the other folder, you may not have a scripts folder here already, so you can create one by doing new folder and then just name it scripts. Next, you can copy the scripts folder from the RB25 download by either right clicking and do copy and then paste Or you can also just drag the scripts folder directly over to the USB drive and make sure that you're not dropping it onto another folder. You want to just drop it in the blank area. In this case, it's going to ask me to replace or overwrite those files I just copied. You can verify that the scripts are installed correctly by seeing the USB drive, scripts folder, and the three scripts within that folder. So now I'll disconnect the radio by going to the eject safely remove hardware and choosing eject USB drive. You can also just right click on the USB drive here and go eject. Once you see that it's safe to remove, you can unplug the radio system and I'll reboot it into the regular ethos mode. To verify that the scripts are installed correctly, some people may think to look under device config, but they're not going to show up here yet because these are just temporary Lua files and they'll show up here once we have them programmed into Ethos. But for now, to access them, you go to the gear icon or press the system button on the navigation and then scroll over to see the RB25 as scripts which are copied to the system. So next I'll power up the RB25S which I have a TDMX connected to. My TDMX is set to FBUS mode on the smart port telemetry port. So under airplane icon or model setup go to RF system and next to your receiver you can set options and set the telemetry port into FBUS mode. And then when you go to the telemetry and discover the sensors, your RB25 sensors should appear.
The TDMX is connected to the RX2 port by ground, power, and signal to the smart port pad of the TDMX. Once you've verified that the telemetry is working correctly, you can go to the gear icon, the radio setup, and scroll over and access the Lua scripts. On the Lua scripts, you'll notice that there's a page one and page two for your stable system one and two. And to toggle between the two, you can use the page button in the middle of the wheel here to switch between the two. To get back to the stable system one, just long press on that page button again. And from here, you can adjust all of your stabilization settings and gains.